आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक केलकर आई एम ए सायकियाट्रिस्ट हिप्नोथेरपिस्ट डी एडिक्शन स्पेशलिस्ट अँड सेक्सॉलॉजिस्ट प्रॅक्टिसिंग इन महाराष्ट्र अकोला सिटी वी आर हॅव्हिंग टू हॉस्पिटल्स हिअर वेअर वी ॲडमिट मेंटल पेशंट्स वन विथ रिलेटिव्ह वी ॲडमिट द पेशंट अँड अनदर हॉस्पिटल वेअर वी ॲडमिट पेशंट्स विदाऊट रिलेटिव्ह देर वी ॲडमिट पेशंट फॉर अल्कोहोल डी ॲडिक्शन अँड ऑल टाईप्स ऑफ ॲडिक्शन वी ट्रीट देअर टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक विथ यू अबाउट डिप्रेशन डिप्रेशन इज अ व्हेरी कॉमनली सीन इलनेस सायकॅट्रिक इलनेस फाउंड इन जनरल पॉप्युलेशन इट इज एस्टिमेटेड दॅट अराउंड फाईव्ह टू सेवन्टीन पर्सेंट ऑफ पीपल सफर फ्रॉम डिप्रेशन अँड इट्स मोर कॉमनली सीन इन फिमेल्स दॅन मेल्स अँड इज मोर कॉमन अराउंड फॉर्टी इयर्स ऑफ एज If there are symptoms of depression, they last for two weeks consecutively without break, then we can say that the person is suffering from depression. There are common symptoms and if five out of these nine, which I am going to tell you right now, if five out of these nine are seen, then we can say that the person is suffering from depression. Now, which are those symptoms, you know, nine symptoms, just I am going to elaborate and enumerate. Number one is sadness of mood. This very common and the first and foremost symptom is mood disorder. It's a, it's a mood disorder. This is a sadness. The person says that I am nervous, I am not feeling well, I am down, I have got low mood, I am depressed, sad and then he has got weeping spells. He is weeping without any reason. Some people, some patients, they do not weep also. They say that I feel like weeping but I don't like cry or, or, or there are no tears, you know, I don't weep. But I am feeling like weeping but I am not getting cry, no? So like he is, he is not crying but he feels like that. So there is a sadness of mood, nervousness, depression and he is feeling very low. Second is he has got loss of interest. It is a very commonly seen and it is more important, rather it is most important uh, symptom of depression is loss of interest or which is called as anhedonia. He has got loss of interest in everything. Like he does not want to go to his job. If a lady is there, she doesn't want to cook or do household work. He doesn't like to go anywhere to any function or marriage ceremony or any other ceremony for that matter. He doesn't want to go to movie. He just cannot enjoy watching TV or nothing like he doesn't want to talk to anyone and like he has got loss of interest in everything. Third common lesson is appetite, like loss of appetite. The person has got loss of appetite like he doesn't feel like eating, he doesn't have any taste. He doesn't feel like, like he doesn't have any hunger and he feels that he should not eat anything. On the contrary, some people may eat more, they eat excessively. So if the patient is not eating, he will lose weight. If the patient is eating more, he will gain weight. It depends. So it's appetite disturbances. Fourth one is sleep disturbances. A person who is suffering from depression has got insomnia. He either cannot get or he, like he doesn't get sleep. He, he, like he cannot fall asleep in the night, like uh, he may be awake till 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the night and getting up early in the morning. Or he falls asleep early and then he gets up in the morning very early and then he feels very bad, drowsy, lousy, you know, with low mood and the mood is more depressed in the morning rather than in the evening. Or if he gets sleep, The, there are sleep disturbances and he gets up very often in the sleep. So sleep disturbance is very commonly seen. Fifth is reduced psychomotor activity. Reduced psychomotor activity means like his activity are very much reduced. Like he's walking very slow, he's talking very slow, his movements are slow, you know. If you, if you see a patient with depression, like his uh, like head is down, you no, know, as if he's bowing and shoulders are down and he's very walking very slowly. So he has got loss of like uh, le- like less of psychomotor activity and his all activities are very slow. Some patients they show agitation like they are very agitated they are moving from here and there and they are restless agitated you know and uh, like agitation restlessness and increased psychomotor activity is also seen in some patients. Then sixth one is energy loss of energy or less of energy like he is not enthusiastic he is not energetic to do anything and uh, like He, he feels very tired, feels very low, he doesn't feel like doing anything and as if the juice is taken out, you know, whole, whole of the juice is taken out and he's like 
feeling very drowsy or dull or less energetic and he does not want to do anything. So, he has got less of energy. Seventh is he has got guilt feelings, very much guilt. He feels guilty about whatever he has done in the past. So, like he thinks that he has done some sin in the past or he has done, he has hurt many people or he has not done good things in the past and he feels very bad about it. Then he has got hopelessness. He, he feels helpless. Like he, he thinks that he, he just can't do anything and he is helpless, he can't do anything about it. Or he is hopeless about the future that nothing can be done about. Like he, he thinks that uh, the, like uh, his family will, you know, uh, will be very poor in the future, he will lose money and his children will be suffering and the future is very doomed and dark. So, it is about future and hopelessness and helplessness and worthlessness, you know. So, these feelings are there. Eighth one is concentration. Like he has got lack of concentration, he cannot concentrate, lack of concentration. And because of lack of concentration, he has got forgetfulness. Then his speed of doing any work goes down because of lack of concentration, he cannot concentrate. Because he will, like because he cannot concentrate, uh, like he will be looking here and there, you know. He cannot sit at a place and cannot do any job for a long time. The ninth one is he may harm self harm or suicidal, suicidal risk. He may harm self. Like he thinks he is worthless, hopeless, nothing can be done. So it is better that he finishes his life. So he may harm himself, which can be very lethal, or he may commit suicide, attempt suicide. So there are lot many cases where attempted suicide and some who are committed suicide. So, like these are the very cardinal symptoms of depression and uh, they are very commonly seen. So, if you find any person around you who is saying that no, no I am having low mood, uh, he may be going in depression or he feels nervous, sad, you know. So, he may be having depression or going into a depressive state. So, better watch for the people around because it is very commonly seen and, and if you think if there are people around who are not taking any help from doctors. So, pass this, on, pass this video to people on WhatsApp group or Facebook groups. And if you like, subscribe and share our channel, uh, visit our website and there are so many videos in Hindi also which I have uh, published in the YouTube. So, you can watch those videos on mental illnesses and I will and if you subscribe like I will be publishing more videos in English about mental illnesses and you will get notification for that. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.